In this video, you'll learn how to install Click and Printing and activate a Click and Printing license. This video shows you how to install Click and Printing Server, Click and Printing Engine, and Click and Printing Designer on the same machine. Other configurations are also possible. Before starting the end printing installation, you will need a licensed copy of ClickView Desktop. Click end printing has three setup files. The first one you install is the end printing server. When the Microsoft Visual C 2013 window appears, Accept the license terms and proceed with the installation. The first time you log into Click and Printing, you must create a user with administrator rights. Enter an administrator username and a valid email address and password. You will be able to create other users from the ClickView and Printing interface. When this has finished, click on Next to continue. Now enter the service login credentials. The user account needs to be for a local machine administrator. You can create a specific administrator user account to use exclusively for managing click and printing services. Assign administrator rights to this user account. When you have created the administrator user account, you have to assign rights to log on as a service. Because ClickView uses nominal licenses, you have to set up a ClickView desktop license for the user you created previously. To do this, run ClickView as a different user, log in with the previously created end printing administrator, and then license the product for this user. Now you can fill in the user credentials. In the account name fields, define the local machine name, the user account name, and the password. Click Test Credentials to test that the account is valid. When the credentials have been verified, you can continue the installation process. The installation of Click and Printing Server creates three services. Check that all the services have started. When the installation has finished, run the engine setup. Here you can use the same user account that you used for the Click and Printing Server installation. Now enter the name of the computer where the scheduler is installed. Continue the installation process. When it has finished, check that the Click and Printing Engine service has started. You must have at least one click and printing engine active, which can be on the same computer or on a different one. You can install only one engine on each physical computer. Finally, install click and printing designer. Because the designer is used to author report templates, install it on the computer you will use to develop templates.
If required, you can install Click and Printing Designer on ClickView and Printing Server or Engine Computers, but this is not mandatory. Now, you can open Click and Printing. To do this, open your browser and point it to the local host and port 4993 for standard installation. The first time you open the web interface of a newly installed Click and Printing server, you will see the license activation request. Enter your license key and control number, and then type in your username and organization name. When you click on Activate, you will see a green message indicating the activation was successful. To start working with nPrinting, you need to add at least one engine. We have already installed the engine on this machine, so we just have to indicate the machine name as the address. As you can see, the engine shows as offline. Now, if you refresh the page, the engine will show as online. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.